In this video, I'm going to give you three tips to help you with your midfield play. So whether you're a wide midfielder or a central midfielder, defensive or attacking, all these principles will help you if you actually use them in the game. So I cannot do a midfield video without talking about the simple importance of pass and move. Okay. In the midfield, you have to get in the habit and you have to be comfortable playing with limited touches. You have to move that ball quickly. You have to be able to play one touch and two touch football, getting the ball moving quickly. I know you have great skills. I know you want to use them, but you really have to pick your spots, okay? If you're, let's say you're a winger or you're a striker and you lose the ball in this situation, well, that's not as dangerous as if you're a midfielder and you take too many touches and you lose it in this situation. So really simplify your play. Now I'm not telling you to rush your play, to panic and just get it out of your feet because that's what you have to do. But you need to have the ability to play one touch football, to move the ball quickly, let the ball do the work. And you have to want to play that. It's, a, it's really enjoyable to play one and two touch football. I think a lot of kids, especially young players, they don't think it's enjoyable to play two touch. But when you can get in the habit and you're on a team and you're playing with your friends, you have good chemistry and you move the ball really quickly, everyone's getting touches. Guess what? You're going to get more touches on the ball by moving it quicker. By doing less, you're going to get more touches on the ball. You're going to create more chances for yourself. You're going to keep possession of the ball. So really start to enjoy playing quicker, playing with fewer touches and making more things happen with fewer touches. So especially as a midfielder, central midfielder, you really want to develop the ability to keep possession at all costs. Like you should rarely lose the ball. Now, I still want you to be ambitious. I want you to dribble if there is space, if that's the only option. I want you to play four passes and try to create chances but you have to have quality on your passes. So really focus on the quality of every single pass. Do not be careless with your passes. Rarely give away possession. If you do, you're working extremely hard. Let's say you had a bad pass. You're working extremely hard to get it back as quickly as you can to get back into position to help your team defend. So first of all, with any midfielder video, I always have to talk about the importance of playing two touch, one touch football, taking care of your passes, passing and moving. So. When you play a pass, let's get this striker up here. Let's get a little further up the field. So when you play a pass, don't just stop and watch, okay? Right away, you're moving to create angles. Maybe you're moving to get forward and someone else is giving the support, okay? But every time you play a pass, catch yourself watching the ball. So as you play that pass, a lot of players, they'll play that pass and then they'll stop or they'll start walking. Okay, as soon as you play your pass, the game doesn't stop. You have to continue moving. So if you're that central midfielder, that defensive midfielder, and you play that pass, get forward right away, support the play, and just keep giving new angles to the player on the ball. Okay, so if you're on the ball and no one else is moving, how do you feel? It sucks, like you, your only option is to dribble. Okay, but if players are making runs, they're getting into space, someone is supporting you if you get locked, if you get trapped, well now it's a lot easier to play. So make it easier on your teammates and really focus on the quality and the consistency of your movement. So number one, focus on your pass and move. So the second tip I wanna give you when you're playing in the midfield, and this is more defensively, but also attacking, but always think about your balance. So what I mean by balance is, Let's say the ball is over on this side of the field. Okay, so if we're not keeping our balance, we might look something like this. Okay, everyone will come in like that. Especially if we're attacking, this isn't a good thing. If we're defending, okay, yes, we're keeping balance, but if we're defending like this, well, now our balance is lost. So think about your balance, especially when you're, let's really focus on these two central midfielders here. So a lot of times you'll see, let's say like there's even like a throw in, something like this. So both central midfielders will be here, something like this. Well, what happens if this guy receives the ball? Where's the link up play? How do we switch the field? He's going to have to play this long ping across and maybe he doesn't have that ability or maybe he gets cut out. And now what? There's no balance. We have no one to protect the defense. So when you're playing that central midfielder, if one central midfielder is going to receive the ball here, the other one needs to keep balance, something like this. So when he does receive the ball, he can open up quickly, he can play it to you, and then we can switch the field, and then we can attack. And you're focusing on your movement, you're getting forward, whatever it is, but the balance is there. So 
be aware of if you're both on the same side of the field. And a, a general rule is if we're splitting the field in half, one should be on this side, one should be on this side. Now, it's okay if it, one is like this and a little bit more, but we don't wanna be on top of each other. We wanna keep balance. Now, as the wide players, you need to keep the balance as well. If we're all in like this, because we wanna be attacking midfielders and no one wants to stay wide, well, now this causes a big problem, okay? It's difficult because this makes it a lot easier for them to defend. Yes, it is possible to do these little passes, but you're gonna have to be really precise, really skilled, and it's not always gonna work. You wanna stretch the field. And if you're a wide player, well, you need to keep the balance as far as your width. You need to really create width for your teammates. What does this do? It forces, oh, I'm not running out there, I'm playing a pass out there. It forces the defense to shift, okay? And now, if we can keep them shifting, well now we might get an opportunity to get forward. So really think about the balance as far as a central midfielder, not getting on top of each other, being able to switch the play if that ball comes, and as wide players, not getting sucked in too much. Now, saying that, you can still dribble inside, feel free to come inside. Maybe your central midfielder will realize that, he'll keep the balance, and he'll come outside. But majority of the time, especially when the play is being switched or we're struggling to create chances, you really want to keep that width. It's going to really help your team because as I said, if when, you, when you get the ball out here, you have space. You can get across into the box. Or if you do get closed down, well, now there's space for other players. Okay, so we can play that in here and now something else opens up. So really think about keeping the balance. The final tip I want to talk about is protecting the defense. So. You're a midfielder, you have to play both ways and enjoy playing both ways. I always say the best way to get better at defending is actually enjoying your defending, enjoy pressing players, enjoy tackling, enjoy winning the ball back for your team and helping your team keep a clean sheet and win the game. So if you can enjoy it, you're gonna be better right away. But let's talk about screening the defense. So what I mean by that is, let's put the red team on the ball here and we'll get these guys forward. Let's put two guys in here like that. Uh, I'm gonna go like this just for demonstration's sake. Okay, so let's say we're the midfielders. We have one striker up here. We'll do three midfielders here. So screening the defense. So a lot of times a midfielder, let's say this guy's on the ball, he just run in here saying, yeah, I gotta press, I gotta win the ball back for my team. But you're not really thinking about how you're angling your run and what you're closing off. Okay, so if you're just rushing at him, yes, it's good that you wanna press and you wanna you wanna close down his space, you don't wanna give him time to play, but if you're not doing it properly, well, it's gonna be easy. He's gonna play this, he's gonna make a little run around you, and he's gonna go on a breakaway and score the goal, and it's gonna be all your fault. So you wanna think about screening potential passes, especially forward passes, into attacking players. So as you can see here, we're screened. We've got support on one side from the defenders. They're doing the man marking. The midfielders are doing the screening. So as you're closing down, let's say their midfield is on the ball or even their defenders are on the ball and they're coming up, they're looking for passes. Instead of just rushing or instead of just hanging out, something like this, you wanna think about what am I screening? Which pass am I blocking off? How am I helping my defenders? So if we can all step in like this, your shoulder checking, yes, you have to be aware of where the ball is, but you have to be aware of where this guy is if he checks out here and you're not aware of that, well suddenly you're closing and he's still creating a pass. So you wanna think about pressing, but you also wanna think about the angle of your run. Am I screening the pass? Now, if that pass gets played in, you don't wanna just say, okay, he's my defender, he's got it covered, quickly turn, can you double up? Or you have to be aware of if this midfielder is making a forward run. So if no one is running and you have no one specifically to mark in this situation or no one in a dangerous area to mark, well, you wanna think about doubling up and helping out your defender. Can you win the ball back two on one and now we keep possession. But let's say this guy plays a pass in here and he makes a forward run. Well, you have to stay with him because if you both double up here, what happens now? This guy's a free man. Okay, so if this guy's playing a forward run, he plays the pass and then plays a forward run, you went to press, he played the forward pass, now he makes a forward run, just track that guy immediately. Try to stay with him immediately. Assume that your defender is in the right position and he's gonna do the job. If this guy plays the pass and he just stays there and that was the guy that you were marking, well now you can double up and you can help your team win the ball. So think about those three tips that I talked about, pass and move, focusing on the quality of your passes, moving the ball quickly, especially in the midfield the consistency of your movement, always showing, creating 
angles for your teammates, making it easier for your teammates to play. So when they're on the ball, they'll do the same thing for you. Think about screening the play. And as we talked about, you want to think about keeping the balance as far as your positioning. You don't want to be everyone on top of each other, two midfielders or two central midfielders on the same side of the field. It's not good for attacking. It's definitely not good for defending. So thanks for checking out this video. Please remember to like, comment if you have any questions, subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you. Soon.